Hello, and welcome to Canadian Rights Reviews, where we examine the ins and outs of Canadian rights, freedoms, laws, and policies. Today's video has me wondering about some of the great mysteries of the world, and, in particular, has reminded me of some famous quotes. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Mahatma Gandhi. The most important thing you learn in school is how to learn. Derek Fung. Most people don't aim too high and miss. They aim too low and hit. Les Brown. With those thoughtful thoughts in mind, today's lesson is this. American laws are not Canadian laws. Say it one time with me. American laws are not Canadian laws. YouTube has many videos of police stops, First Amendment audits, and channels, just like this one, that take a deeper dive into the legality of such interactions. The problem, for Canadians and people in many other countries, is most of these videos come from our neighbors to the South, in America. In fact, that is how this channel started. You see, I enjoy those videos myself, however. American laws, are not, Canadian laws. While many of our rights and freedoms are very similar, how they have developed through our courts, and been applied as laws, in our collective states, provinces, and territories can vary greatly. If you intend to try and flex your rights, you must know the laws where you are. Thinking you know the law from watching some YouTube videos, in particular, from another country, can be dangerous. This video was shot in two parts, of a traffic stop, already in progress, in Trenton, Ontario, of an unidentified driver by the Ontario Provincial Police. While the combined raw footage is only approximately five and a half minutes, there is an abundance of legal material to be covered. Is your uh, sergeant on its way? On his way? I re I'm requesting him, please. No, I'm requesting a sergeant, please, and thank you. What's your badge number and name? Give me your driver's What's your badge number and name, ma'am, please? By law, you have to provide that with me too if I'm right now, on request. I'm By law, this or any other officer, does not have to provide a name and badge number. Any such policies are set by the department you are dealing with and are not law. For what offense? For what like offense was I was doing? Pack? What offense was I committing? No, I did not have my cell phone up to my ear. I had my case to my cell phone up to my ear. You pulled me over. I was doing the speed limit. You asked me if I had my phone. Actually, I showed you and it was just a case. License. You heard correctly. He was not driving with a cell phone to his ear but rather an empty cell phone case to his ear. Clearly in the hopes of getting pulled over, for the purpose of making this video. And then you asked me if I had my driver's license because you couldn't get me on the... Oh, I, you didn't ask for it, you asked to see it. No, I asked I'm showing you my, my perfectly legit driver's license up to date. Can I have a sergeant please? For what reason? What might the law have I committed because break? Under the law, of yeah. Traffic if I was I committed of breaking a law, you're right, 100%. No, I you can stop you what? You to check your paperwork as well, and I stopped you because you had to self Under what career. commit uh, suspicion of crime do you think I committed? You have to have articulate suspicion. You can't just pull me over because you think that I had a cell phone up to my head. I know. No, you don't. You think that you know, but you don't. It was the case to my cell phone. Section 320.12 of the Canadian Criminal Code states, It is recognized and declared, that operating a conveyance is a privilege that is subject to certain limits in the interests of public safety that include, licensing, the observance of rules and sobriety. While the individual provinces and territories are free to create their own laws that may vary, all of them are derived from federal statutes. In this case, also deriving from the Canadian Motor Vehicle Safety Act, the province of Ontario, mirrors the privilege language, in Section 31 of the Ontario Highway Traffic Act, the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, Section 6, does guarantee our mobility rights, however, they are much different than America's right to travel which is derived from several different rights. In Canada, the police do not need probable cause to pull you over. Rather, they only need a legitimate reason which can range from a traffic violation, checking your documentation, safety check of your vehicle, and so on. Section 216 of the Ontario Highway Traffic Act addresses the power of police to stop vehicles. You might note, there is no language with regards to probable cause or reasoning. The police cannot stop you for reasons which are protected under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms such as race. However, such allegations are hard to prove. 
In the 1990 Supreme Court case of RV La Dossier, the appellant was the subject of a random police stop, to ensure he had a valid driver's license and his papers were in order. The officers did not suspect the appellant of acting unlawfully. It was found the appellant was driving with a suspended license and he was later found guilty of the offence by a justice of the peace. An appeal made its way to the Supreme Court of Canada, on the basis that such random stops are unconstitutional under Section 1, 7, 8, and 9 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the appeal was dismissed. When providing reasoning for its decision, the court provided, The random stop is rationally connected and carefully designed to achieve safety on the highways and impairs as little as possible the rights of the driver. It does not so severely trench on individual rights that the legislative objective is outweighed by the abridgment of the individual's rights. Indeed, stopping vehicles is the only way of checking a driver's license and insurance, the mechanical fitness of a vehicle, and the sobriety of the driver. They also stated, the random routine check does not so severely trench upon the right so as to outweigh the legislative objective. Mechanisms are already in place to prevent abuse by law enforcement officers. Officers can stop persons only for legal reasons. In this case, reasons related to driving a car such as checking the driver's license and insurance, the sobriety of the driver, and the mechanical fitness of the vehicle. Once stopped, the only questions that may justifiably be asked are those related to driving offenses. Any further, more intrusive procedures, could only be undertaken based upon reasonable and probable grounds. Where a stop is found to be unlawful, the evidence from the stop could well be excluded under Section 24.2 of the Charter. Thank you, that's great. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Good. What okay, can I help so, you? Well, so basically, this, this officer here has demanded that you provide uh, your driver's license to her, okay? So For what the... law have I broken, though? I didn't break any law. Yes, I had the cover to my head like this driving down the okay. road. That's what her okay, first stop was. Listen. And then I showed her that it was just the cover to my phone. And then she proceeded to say okay. that she knew I had my cell okay. phone up to my ear, yeah. that she knew it. My, okay. my case, you're right, 100% correct, ma'am. It was the case to my phone, okay. up to my head like this, driving down the road. Here's, here's but now, then she went from not be able to get me from my phone to asking for my license, yeah. which, if I didn't commit a crime, I don't really have to provide okay. my license so here's, unless here's I'm... Here's what I'm here to tell you. No suspicion of a crime or probable cause are required to ID while you are in operation of a motor vehicle. This is covered in Section 33 of the Ontario Highway Traffic Act. If you are unable or refuse to produce your license, you must supply your correct name and address. While somewhat outside the scope of this video, it is important to note, as it relates to having to produce ID, riding a bicycle does not fall under the same laws. At least, in Ontario. Passengers, Canada-wide, are also not included in the requirement to ID and an officer can only request it. As a passenger, you are not required to ID unless an officer has probable cause. Okay, okay sir. And that's, that's why I'm here. I want you to fully understand this, okay? Mm -hmm. As a police officer, regardless of whatever... And then, reason, oh, and then so she listen, threatens listen, me with listen, arrest, and then she rips listen, open my door. Just listen, I'll hear a sec, okay? Just don't, don't worry about her. Oh, I am worried about her. She's the one that stopped okay, me. Just, just listen. Okay? I am listening, sir, right, but I then again... Fully, I want you to fully understand, mm -hmm. okay? She's Are you? Can I have your badge and name and number? Well, actually, yes, absolutely. What's your name and badge number, officer? Okay. And yours, so and hers, and everybody else that's here. An arrestable offense for what to not identify yourself if when I a was police officer has demanded that you identify yourself. Okay? If I am suspected of a crime, you're driving, you're operating a motor vehicle. Context is important. This police officer has just stated that it is an arrestable offense to not identify if a police officer has demanded you to do so. Outside the operation of a motor vehicle, this is not the case. However, this statement is being made where it does apply, and the officer is quick to add the qualifier of no. You're driving. Did I break any laws? So listen. Okay, what about all them other people that are speeding up and down the road? Okay, so I'm going to tell you one more time. Okay. You want to see my license? It's right here. You can see it. It's legit. Everything is legit on it. Okay, there. You're going to have to let me write down everything on there then. Okay, it's right there. It's in my possession. I have no problem. No, and so I'm just saying. But Miss Hardcore over there has to get all hard. That's, She's being a bitch. And I'm entitled to my opinion of that. That's fine. You're identifying yourself. And that's uh, now I am. But now I want her badge number. And I want yours and yours and that other officer that's the two other officers that are behind me too. I want everybody's badge number and names. Please. And uh, 
uh, uh, cards. Please and thank you. And this is going on YouTube. <laughs> Especially you. Smile. Smile. Busted your bubble, didn't I? Am I free to go? Am I still retained? For what? Come on. Detained for what? What am I detained for? Okay, so I get detained for committing no crime. Because <laughs> the lady wants to be a hardcore officer. And uses her... And she whipped open my door, and now she's open. I think she's a bitch. Power struggling bitch. And I'm entitled to that freedom of speech. Sure. I just want you to understand. No, I just want you to understand what you what she is doing right now is totally legal. I don't have to listen to you, sir. Thanks. I just want you to understand that for the next time, okay, you have to identify No, I don't. Unless I'm convicted of a crime. I've already for what? For not I did it. Oh no, she asked for my ID to see it. I showed it to her. Yeah, you did. But why couldn't she do what you just did? <laughs> Slammed open my door for one, but you weren't here to witness that, right? So you're going to take, oh, the boys in blue code, that's what it is. It's the code, I know. Yeah, because you guys don't actually know that I kind of know my right. Kind of, not totally, but kind of. As our unidentified driver has so eloquently stated in the video, he is entitled to his opinion. We are also entitled to the same. The driver here has so persuasively lowered the bar in his attempt at highway vigilante police stop justice while touting misinformation, he gets an unequivocal fail. For their patience and professionalism during this stop, the OPP not only gets a pass but gets a stamp of approved. While there is no shortage of questionable interactions involving police, this is not one of them. I commend the officers for not taking the bait and not letting their actions be dictated by the antics of this driver. We will update you further if we learn of any meaningful developments in this case. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.